Which battlefield are you headed to? Let's clean up. I'll do my best. There's no time to waste. Who, me?
starts now. Hope this is one of those easy wins. I won't let you down. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. You can count on me. I'll do my best. We have to be careful. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Keep your eyes on me. <laughs> this is ours now. <laughs> Do I have a choice? I'll make you a hand, if that's all right. I think this will go well. Not a problem. I've got this. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. Not a problem. I've got this. Yeah, let's do this. I'll back you up. Thank you. Let's take a breather. Watch closely. you covered. Take a breather. There's 
Do I have a choice? Stop here. This will help me break new boundaries. ago, I never would have imagined we'd be fighting a war like this. I'm with you there, but it's actually quite the lucky break for you. How do you mean? When a war breaks out, every mercenary in the land starts crawling out of the woodwork. And with all your associates here, you should have a large enough force to take on you-know-who. Geralt's mercenaries. Yeah, good point. And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. <laughs> relax, relax. You know I'm on your side. Our destinies are forever intertwined. Do we have an understanding then? I understand your request, but I make no promises to honor it at this time. Pardon my candor, but you have yet to earn my confidence. I shall observe how this war progresses and then make the decision myself. Now, good day to you. Oh, Father! The current Alliance leader and I have finished our discussion. I will be taking my leave now. Everything okay, Claude? That seemed... tense. On the contrary, our conversation couldn't have been more pleasant. Count Gloucester is always a delight. If that was meant to be a joke, you will note that I am not laughing. Lawrence, it's been far too long. I'm glad to see you're safe and well. Yes, well, I doubt I will be either of those things for much longer. The Imperial Army has begun its march northward. Incidentally, what were you discussing with my father? Oh, you know, just what the lords should do in the unlikely event that the Imperial Army crosses into Alliance territory. And how did my father respond? With a whole lot of words, but not a lot of clarity. Hardly surprising. My father does not even share his innermost thoughts with me. And I am his heir. 
Lawrence, let me ask you something. Would you go along with his decisions no matter what? What exactly do you mean? Say, for example, if your father pledged his allegiance to the Empire, would you follow suit? Oh. Do you think Count Gloucester is going to betray us, Claude? Of course not. It's just a hypothetical. Well, then, that's a serious what-if. Almost sounds like you're trying to provoke Lawrence. No, it is quite all right. In fact, it is a perfectly reasonable query, given my father's actions as of late. However, my father takes tremendous pride in being one of the five great lords of the Alliance. He would not betray us to the Empire lightly. I, for one, still have faith in him. I won't deny that your father is a great man, Lawrence. I just wish he regarded me with anywhere near the same level of esteem. a good result. Care to make yourself useful?
counting on you both. Sure, I can help. I always get the job done, and I'm thorough. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Ah, a high-quality meal suitable for my refined palate. I am most grateful. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day.
Hey, this is great. Thanks. Hey, Claude. Looks like you had another one of those meetings. You finally finished? For today, yeah. But we're picking up right where we left off tomorrow. Ugh, that's a lot of talking. What could possibly call for that much discussion? Well, first, we need to settle on a direction for the Alliance. And then come all the pesky little details. All responsibilities need to be doled out fairly, but each territory has different resources and different circumstances, you know? So it's tricky to figure out what's really fair. There's no one answer that works across the board. But you're their leader. Can't you just make a bunch of decisions and get it over with? No can do, I'm afraid. I may be the leader, but I'm still just one of the five great lords. Sure, I may be the idea man, but I don't have the authority to enforce anything on my own. On top of all that, most nobles are experts at focusing on what's good for their own territory instead of what would benefit the Alliance as a whole. When priorities clash, the debates just go around and around in endless circles. Makes me wonder if we'll ever reach a consensus on anything. Hold on. Do you really think you'll win the war like this? You'll always be on the defensive if you can't act decisively. I hear you, believe me. The process works much better in times of peace, but since we're at war, it's frustrating to say the least. What's worse is that it's near impossible to get a read on the situation. I don't have the foggiest idea how we're going to overcome this. Say, mind if I pick your brain? What would you do in my shoes? What, me? Well, I guess I'd... Just hit him with the old ba-bam, you know? That's the way. Ba-bam, right. I think you could elaborate on that a little. What I'm saying is, why not just get rid of all the talking? You mean, get rid of the Alliance's council altogether? Exactly. If you give yourself more authority, then it won't take as long to make decisions. It doesn't even have to be permanent. You could go back to the old way once things are peaceful again. But I guess that wouldn't go over too well with the other nobles, huh? Actually, I think you're onto something. Can't say it hasn't crossed my mind before. If folks at the round table just keep looking out for their own territory's interests, we'll be in a world of hurt if the Alliance is ever invaded. I just wish they could see that. Whoa, are you seriously considering it, Claude? Of course. Unfortunately, the possibility of it actually happening right now is basically zero. But you've given me a lot to chew on. Let's do this again sometime. Just say the word. You know... Yeah, I don't know. Long story short...
to nerf. Oh, thanks. train too? Nah, just grabbing something I forgot earlier. Is this normal training time for you, Leone? Well, yeah. We've been so busy lately, I've had to squeeze it in whenever I can. Huh. You work hard for a mercenary. I'm just starting out in my career, so I can't afford to slack off now. I only started training as a merc after the Officer's Academy closed, remember? Meanwhile, you were one before you even came to the Academy. You've got years of experience on me. Still, you're skilled and you've got brains, which means you're more promising than the average rookie. I hope you're right. I have to distinguish myself at some point, or else I won't be able to face the captain. You have a captain? Yep. He visited my village when I was a kid, and I practically begged him to make me his apprentice. I was probably a huge nuisance, but I was so desperate to get out of my village and be independent. Gerald treated me like an annoying little brat at first, but eventually, he taught me for real. He showed me everything. Tricks of the trade, standard training routines, basic strategy, you have a mentor? Someone who showed you the ropes? A mentor? Hmm... I do have a mentor, in a sense. You know, someone who occasionally gives me advice and stuff. That sounds sort of vague, but I guess there can be all kinds of mentors. Either way, you still have loads more experience than me. I need to work hard so I can catch up with you. Well, if you ever want help from an old pro, just say the word. Thanks. I'm glad to have a role model I can count on. Care to make yourself useful? On you both. What? Me? Fine. Sure. That'll be no sweat. We all must do our fair share. If I may, 
basically. For me, I love it. I have a request. Right on. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. to see how you do. Time to work you into shape.
I'll show you what I can do. The fight starts now.
Pretty good for a scrawny merc. I'm not gonna die here. Huh? <laughs> 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 